Hello, it's Nancy today. I'm out here in the woods. I like walking here. It's a hunt camp. I keep yelling as I go, making sure that no wild animals will come around me. But I've been looking for mushrooms. And look, I have this book here. This book is called The Mushroom Identifier. And it shows them, this is a cluster of on the ground, in grassland, or open spaces. And they have these pictures for each of them. Anyway, I see some here. Now this is this is a, a moss. Let's just make ourselves comfortable on this nice soft moss. We'll put down our basket and stuff. Okay, now we have here something. See how they're brown in the middle? They're very small. See my hand beside them? Quite small. And I have some more over here. Now this is a um, juniper bush. And look, they're under the juniper. And they're on the side of it too. Now then, let us check them out. Okay, we'll pull one out. Now, what can we see about it? Okay, it's yellowish. The gills are yellowish, aren't they? Can you see that clearly? And the cap is curving down. Now the gills are kind of wide apart, and this is shaped like a funnel almost, concave, and it's got all those little rings around in it. Okay, now we check the book, because I like I like checking books. I know you wanted to lie in the grass. Nice it's like it. Okay, so now we have this one here. Although common, the small Omphalia species are overly easy overlooked. They are characterized by their small size and by their pale decurrent gills. I forget what decurrent means, but I think it's coming down on the edge. Look, at, there's a little one right here. Now, I don't know what you think, but that one to me does not look like this. The cap is three eighths to one and a quarter inch. Three eighths. Well, that's about three eighths of an inch. Okay. One to three centimeters in diameter. Flat to depressed to almost funnel shaped. See? These are kind of depressed. Flat. Inside. Uh, and depressed on this funnel shape. Okay, and what about it? Radically furrowed, moist with a wavy margin. Now those are very wavy margins. These, however, are not wavy margin. These are smooth. Very smooth. Okay, so I guess they're not this. Gills are decurrent, triangular, cream-colored, spaced. Stem is three eighths to one and a quarter by one eighth. Well, you see, everything about it is very similar except the picture, and of course the the edge. Okay, decurrent. Now those are decurrent, aren't they? Isn't that what decurrent means? The gills they go upward like that. Triangular cream colored well it's a little bit creamy to gray yellowish to brown smooth with a hairy base hairy base where's the smooth then it feels pretty dry well no flesh thin white habitat among moss on peaty soil and always associated with the lichen 
Botrydina. I don't have a clue what the lichen Botrydina is, but if this is Botrydina, that could be it. But it doesn't look like any of these, does it? Oh wait, look at that one. Now what is this? This is among leaf litter. This one is. And this is in open woodland. And this one is on soil among short grass. And those don't look anything like it. Okay, let's burn the peas. See what we can find here. And these, those are pretty dark. Let me see. I don't know. I don't think they're that dark. A pink spored toadstool commonly found on lawns throughout the autumn months. Convex and expanded with a wavy margin. Well, this one is a little convex, isn't it? This little tiny one here. Ooh, quite a point on it. Convex with a wavy margin. We think that's wavy. Um, gills add next, pale becoming gray, gray progressively pink. Well, those are gray. Stem is about an eighth of an inch. Slender, fibrous, grayish brown. Smell of meal. <sighs> no, I don't know. I don't smell meal. Let's smell this one. Oh, this is supposed to be among short grass and encountered on lawns. So, I don't think it's that one either. But, you know what? I don't think any of these are the right ones. Yeah, they don't look like it to me. On the ground in grassland or open area. Okay, well, we do have some trees around us here. So how about, let's go here, up before that, we had a place on the ground in woodlands or associated with trees. Lots of them on the ground are associated with trees. Well, let's quickly look at these pictures. Pretty yellow tree there. What do you think, my dears? Hmm, what about this one? This one looks similar, doesn't it? See the white around the edges? Isn't that similar to this? Okay, let's see. A coniferous wood species having a dark gray, fibrous, scaly cap. Is that scaly? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. And white gills. Well, I guess you could call them white, I think. Convex with raised center, then expanding. Dry, radically scaly, and sometimes splitting to reveal underlying white flesh. These are not splitting. However, this one is. almost out of time here. Okay, that one's very white underneath. Looks like it's been chewed on by a bug. Gray tricholoma. It's not edible, but it is in the autumn. 
There are several closely related grayish Tricholoma species. Okay, so let's call it Tricholoma. Stem my fungoid smell. Yeah, it does smell like a fungus. Habitat among needle litter. Inedible, one should avoid all gray tricholoma species. Okay, well let's take it home. Goodbye.